Hey guys, it's Peachy. Welcome to part 2 of my romantic to-do tutorial. I'll be showing you how to make the top part of the costume and also the accessories like the sleeves. And if you're interested in seeing parts of my dance, just stick around till the end of the video. See you later. So using the remaining fabric pieces that I got from making the lining of the dress, I had to piece together a top. Since I didn't have a mannequin, I just held up the fabric pieces to my body and sort of just tried to figure out where I wanted the neckline to be and how low it should be. And since I had triangular pieces, I overlapped them to make a front and then I cut the fabric to resemble a tank top shape. To hem the edges, I just used a straight stitch and actually for this entire project, I just used a straight stitch for everything. Also, I would not recommend using chalk to make marks on satiny fabric because it was super hard to get off and here you can see me panicking because I couldn't get it off. My top was about 7.5 inches long from the underarm area to the bottom of the top but you can adjust it according to how long your torso is. To make the back piece, I just drew this rectangle that kind of had a curve to it then I used the remaining two triangle leftover pieces for each half of the back piece. And if you don't know how wide each piece should be, I recommend making it a bit wide so you can try on the top and then make marks on where you need to cut it. Then I used a straight stitch to attach the front piece to the back piece. And this is what it should look like after you attach both the front and back pieces. To add the zipper, I'm just sewing each side of the back piece to it by making a fold and making a straight stitch all the way down. Also, you want to make sure that the opening of the zipper is right side up before you start sewing the zipper on. Cause I was kind of dumb and I sewed it upside down. To make the straps, I just used the fabric that I got when I trimmed the skirt. And you'll just want to fold the strip of fabric like this so there are two folds pressed up against each other. I found it helpful to use paper clips to hold the fabric in place, but you can use an iron to iron the folds as well and that would make it a lot easier to sew together. After you're done, you can sew the strap onto the top. I left the other ends alone because I wanted to wear it as a halter top and just tie it around my neck. I didn't like the look of the tank top shape, so I ended up pressing two sides of each tank top strap together and I sewed them together to make this shape. And now I should have a cute two-piece costume that you can wear for performances or competitions. So in case you're wondering why this costume is not a one-piece, it's because since the material that I used to make the top part of the dress and the bottom of the dress were both not stretchy at all, when I tried to sew the top part to the bottom part, I couldn't get the costume on and off. When I tried to pull it up, it wouldn't go over my butt. And then when I finally did manage to squeeze myself into it, I had a lot of trouble taking it off. It would just not come off. I thought I was going to be trapped in the dress forever. So that's why I decided to cut the two pieces apart and make it a two piece. So for the actual performance, my friend and I had used safety pins to attach the skirt to the top part so that it would stay put as we guessed which is kind of sketchy, I know. It looked okay in the end, so it's all good. <laughs> and now onto the fun part, the poofy sleeves. The sleeves are so much fun to make because it was the easiest part of the entire costume. All you need to do is fold a rectangular piece of fabric in half and make a long tube. The fabric width should be a little bit wider than double the width of your elastic. So mine was about 1.5 inches wide. The length of the rectangle should be a couple centimeters longer than the length of your elastic. After you're done sewing the long tube, just insert the elastic band into the tube and then sew the ends together. Then using two fabric pieces, try to cut out semicircles and then just make tiny folds with the tool and sew it onto the scrunchie. You can add as many tool layers as you like to the sleeves. I think mine were about 3 to 4 layers. So to accessorize this costume, I bought this tiara with a lot of pearls on it. And it was actually super affordable, so if you want one too, I'll link where I got it from in the description bar. And it's just so pretty. 
So if you guys want to see a video of our actual performance, I'll put a link in the description. Overall, it was a great experience. Um, my friend is an absolute angel and she's so talented. So I'm super happy I got to share the experience with her. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!